Okay. Thanks. Ah, well, it's been a, <laughs> a strange development here in this uh, declaration restraining order dispute case, what have you, via my neighbor. I, I got a, a text from my lawyer, told me to give him a call ASAP. <laughs> so I did. And he said that uh, she obtained somebody in the courthouse, services of a, a court-appointed lawyer, whatever, you know. <laughs> didn't cost her really too much money. Uh, I'm guessing free, but that doesn't matter. What matters is he spoke with my lawyer about the deposition that takes place tomorrow and presented my lawyer with an agreement that they would dismiss the case, dismiss the charge, dismiss the restraining order, move to vacate, uh, quash, everything written here. And my lawyer did point out that he had spoke with him, said this is not her first rodeo. She has filed elder abuse against other people. He says, I understand that. So if I'm in agreement, which clearly I am, because I don't want to have to go to a courthouse. I hate the courthouse because, you know, it never works out in my favor ever. But in this case, you know, if he can get this dismissed, quashed, removed, and I just agreed to, you know, never talk to her, which is easy enough, <laughs> you know, basically she gets off doing this and you know it really isn't worth the energy to pursue showing that she committed perjury to pursue anything in that courthouse regarding her because really truly it just drags on for years and the money and yeah it's gonna cost me <laughs> a little money because I got I guess him to be able to get this case dismissed but uh Hopefully that's the end of my spending money <laughs> regarding my next door neighbor. One can only hope. Um, my lawyer just sent me a text. Call me as soon as possible. I had the proposed agreement with some changes I made, and I need to get it to you, get it signed, and get it back to Mr. Ford ASAP so we don't have to go to court on Tuesday. That's a good thing, right? Because I definitely don't want to have to go to court on Tuesday, so I'm going to call him and hopefully... Uh, However, this gets done, it gets done. <laughs> so this is the contract. I don't know. <laughs> I got a feeling this may not work. All right. This first sentence is kind of funny. Each of the parties shall conduct themselves as though the other party does not exist. That's right. Neither party shall engage the other in any discourse of any nature, yada, yada. No talking, what have you. You know, neither verbally address the other. Okay, that one I can... I can abide by that one. But uh, it's number three I got a problem with. I seriously have a problem with number three. So I don't know. I may end up having to go to court anyway. Because I don't know if I can sign this. Really, truly. It says, Neither the party shall malign, disparage, or defame the other in any way, either verbally or in writing. Neither the party shall discuss, disclose, or otherwise comment about the matters raised by Crosno and the original litigation or in any matters between the parties shall they publish distribute disseminate or otherwise broadcast in other words <laughs> I've already violated that one right because I've been telling everybody what's going on and uh, too late oops it's already out of my mouth <laughs> can't pick it up now and um, I, I, I don't know I feel that if I sign this you know, that I am already in violation, and, uh, but, you know, I, I don't feel I should have to not tell everybody what happened, <laughs> just because, you know, th this totally favors her, obviously, and, um, yeah, it keeps me from having to go to court and defend myself against lies on Tuesday, but, you know, maybe I'm better off just going to court and defending myself against the lies. <laughs> I don't know. I just know that if I go to court and defend myself against those lies, yeah, no one's going to tell me I can't tell everybody what happened. <laughs> but if I sign this piece of paper, like I said, it's already 
out in the open. Everybody already knows I'm having a dispute with my next door neighbor because she filed the phony elder abuse claim against me. Everybody already knows. So I've already disseminated it <laughs> and told everybody about it. So I don't know. You know, I don't I think I need to call my lawyer in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, here, each of the parties release the other of any form of claim known or unknown arising out of in any way related to any of the allegations set forth by Crosno in the litigation. Again, this, this really does seem to favor her, not me, you know? <laughs> and each of the parties agree to absolutely respect the personal real property of the other. Well... I never disrespected her property. It was her who destroyed mine. Yeah, basically it's pretty much just saying that, uh, you know, as long as I don't hold her accountable for filing that phony elder abuse claim and I don't tell anybody about it, well, then I don't have to go to court on Tuesday. Yeah, I got away that one, <laughs> you know, I mean, because really, truly, I don't want to have to go to court on Tuesday. I just want to be done with this headache with the next door neighbor. But the way this is written up by the person who is representing her, uh, Michael Ford, it, it clearly favors her and it holds her, you know, not liable regarding the phony elder abuse claim, the, the, the phony... Um, restraining order that she obtained based on pure fabrication. So, um, yeah, I'm at a torn spot here in my mind, obviously. Do I just go ahead and sign this and then don't have to go to court on Tuesday and run the risk of getting in trouble somehow for already telling everybody what happened? <laughs> or... So go ahead and go to court on Tuesday and let the judge ask Miss Linda Cross now why she chose to file that phony restraining order claiming elder abuse against me because you know I didn't deserve it <laughs> I just and I you know I, I had to pay a lot of money for this lawyer to uh, get this and she had to get a lawyer I guess at the end here but uh, her lawyer is definitely making it so that I'm not allowed to tell anybody about what happened and I'm just not good at that <laughs> yeah, if I have any shortcomings it's the fact that I tell everybody about everything <laughs> okay so I just wrote up a little letter from my lawyer basically letting him know that uh, Hey, <laughs> you know, we got to get number three removed from that little contract, whatever, that I'm expected to sign in order to not have to go to court on Tuesday and have everything go away. I, really, truly, you know, I'm, I'm not guilty of any of this stuff she claims, so maybe I should just go to court and show that all the fabricated lies <laughs> really were fabricated lies and... I didn't deserve that restraining order. I mean, the worst that's going to happen is the judge is going to say, for some reason, that it was okay for her to fabricate the lies in order to get the restraining order. And, but I don't think he's going to grant her, like, a lifelong restraining order against me. I, I haven't done anything she claims I've done. So, you know, that's got to amount to something, right, in the court system. I don't know. I just know that I, I'm letting my lawyer know that uh, she can manipulate the court system all she wants. And, you know, I can let go of the argument, really, of the tree, the flood, the, all the drugs, you know, the fact she destroyed my fist, <laughs> the fact that she's just really, you know, created a false elder abuse claim, fabricated it all this stuff in order to get a restraining order against me. I can let all that go. I really can. But she can manipulate the court system, obviously. She's been quite good at it over the years, apparently. You know, I'm just not on pro level like she is. I, I, I don't know anything about the court system, obviously. But I am not going to let her manipulate my mouth. I'm not going to let her determine what's okay for me to tell people about what happened. Uh-uh. 
Yeah, no, 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 no. She's not going to get to manipulate what I'm allowed to talk about. That, you know, that I got to draw the line somewhere, don't I? <laughs> I don't know. So I told my lawyer, basically, if he can get number three removed, I would suggest he do it. If not, then I guess I'll go to court on Tuesday. Uh, I got a feel my lawyer is going to be a little upset when he sees this email. You know, I really, I, I'm wrestling with it in my mind. Do I go to court on Tuesday? Do I not go to court on Tuesday? I'm being given the option to not go due to, if I, I guess, sign a contract a piece of paper and agree not to tell anybody what happened <laughs> and you know I'm wrestling with that and, it, and the more I think about it is no I, I really think that it is you know doing her a favor by agreeing not to go to that courthouse and the worst that can happen really truly at this point is the judge will determine for some reason I need to keep the restraining order based on lies because there's not one true word in that declaration. But if for some reason the judge has determined somehow, some way, I guess I need to have a restraining order, then that's the worst that's going to happen. I'll get a restraining order, right? And be accused of elder abuse, whatever. But I know in my heart I have done nothing to that woman. And uh, so, yeah, it, that leads me to what I'm doing right now. I just, I'm getting ready to send it. I haven't sent it. I'm getting ready to send to my lawyer a note telling him that originally I wanted him to just remove number three, the part that says I wasn't allowed to tell anybody what happened, what transpired. But then the more I thought about it is, no, I need to get in that courtroom. I do, because uh, I need to, you know, get closure in this argument with my neighbor. And um, the, by my signing that contract, I think it clearly states that Apparently, I didn't, res I guess, really need that restraining order because if it can easily be dismissed simply by signing a different piece of paper, she's now safer. I, I, I don't think that's the standard for how you agree to dismiss a restraining order. I think a judge needs to say, wait a minute, <laughs> you know, so if she signs this piece of paper, she's no longer a threat, she's no longer a danger. You know, like, that's something to think about, right? I, I don't know. I just know that uh, I, I let my lawyer know that he can tell her lawyer that, uh, yeah, tell him, Mr. Ford, that I appreciate his offer to avoid the courtroom on Tuesday. But I've determined that it's actually in my best interest to attend. So I, maybe I'm being obstinate. And, like I said, the worst that's going to happen is the judge is going to, for some reason, decide I, I need to have the restraining order. But I just can't see where that would happen because, unlike the fence situation where she did destroy my fence and I won, and then the appellate court decided I didn't prove my case and because I wasn't allowed to show the videos, I can prove that I have never threatened this woman. I can prove just by the fact that this little piece of paper that she wants me to sign. <laughs> I mean, really, truly, my signing that piece of paper isn't going to make her any safer by agreeing to not tell everybody that she lied, right? <laughs> I don't know. I just know that I'm not guilty of any elder abuse towards her. I have not threatened her. I have not done any of the things she claims in that declaration. And I am not going to let her manipulate me by telling me that if I sign that piece of paper, I'm not allowed to tell everybody what she did. <laughs> Come on, you know. I mean, seriously. Yeah. Like I said, I don't know what the judge will decide. But the worst that will happen is he'll say, I got to, I guess, uh, keep the restraining order that was based on lies. So, yeah, I'm going to send this right now. Watch. <laughs> there you go. Yep, yep, yep. Where did it go? Here it is. Okay. Send. All right. No turning back now. <laughs> My lawyer is going to get that in the morning. Like I said, he's probably not going to be very happy because he did work on, I guess, 
this contract thing and turned it into a PDF file and I just I can't I can't sign it I can't like I said I, I really think that if I go to court and the judge sees that I didn't deserve that restraining order that perhaps just perhaps he's gonna look at her and say that wasn't very nice of you to do that to her you know I, really I, I, there is no basis for me to sign a contract with someone who has shown absolutely no concern for me, no regard for me, no care about the fact that she's causing me grief. I mean, she's intentionally causing me grief and has intentionally caused me grief for the last few years. So, no, I think I need to go to court and just explain to the judge I don't feel I deserve that restraining order.